Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Tristan Wendt, and today I'm joined with Miss Angela. Miss Angela is coming all the way down. She's from the Houston area, and Miss Angela and I have a lot in common, actually. So she brought in her MRI reports, and the first thing I saw on that MRI report was L4, L5 disc herniation. And as a lot of you guys know out there, that's exactly what brought me into this office. Uh, Miss Angela is dealing with a lot of the same symptoms that I had, the sharp shooting pain down the right leg, the cramping and spasming down into that right leg. She was involved in a motor vehicle accident back in 2017, correct? Where she was uh, rear-ended and then actually sandwiched between a pole. So it was not a very, uh, not a very good wreck, <laughs> obviously. Um, Miss Angela is coming in today. She's only been adjusted one other time and that was way back in July after the accident, correct? Yes. Why don't you share that experience with the crack addicts out there and tell them about your well, life? Well, so I went to the chiropractor after my wreck. Um, and she did the normal things side that they posture. Do, side yeah. posture and i was not able to get out of bed for four days after and so you're I actually never, worse after you left that yes, office right yes yeah. and so i never um i would never go back to a chiropractor gotcha. so until somebody uh yeah. convinced you huh yes you got troy over here he's also a fellow crack addict and he he talked you into coming in here and he's doing tried video, for two huh? years he's, he's tried to get me here for two <laughs> you're years you're the guinea pig right yes. just to make sure he's gonna be safe after, exactly after you get adjusted today huh <laughs> Yes. All right, well, let's show them how we did that, okay? Okay. So first we're gonna check out this posture. So I'm gonna have you stand right here in front of this mirror one more time. Good, we're gonna close those eyes. Then I want you to bend your head all the way forward again. And then all the way backwards. And I know you were able to pick up on these things right when you opened these eyes a while ago, but come back to neutral and open those eyes. So as you see here, less room on this left-hand side, that pelvis has shifted left and that head has gone forward and off to the right. So we've got a little bit of a uh, curve going on in here, but we see that every day in this office, so no need to worry about that. So I have you go face down here to that paper again, Miss Angela. Okay. So you're going to feel this table dropping out from underneath you, okay? Okay. Right. I'm going to do this leg check one more time for the video, even though I've already done it for note's sake. Troy's even able to see it over there in the corner. She's short. She's short on the right by about half an inch in this position. And then as I bring it up, it gets longer by about a quarter of an inch in this position. And that tightens up, doesn't it, yeah. that low back? Yep. I'll stop torturing you. I apologize. Okay. <laughs> Good. And we also had another interesting finding. So she's getting all of the symptoms down her right side of the leg. But we're going to do that sacrum leg check again. So I have you lock and lift this left leg for me. Good. Now do the same thing on the right-hand side. So as you can notice, that left side doesn't actually go as high. You can relax for me, Miss Angela. The left side's not going nearly as high, which means we have a sacral deviation on the left, but you're getting all those symptoms to the right. So what I suspect is happening because of the habits you've also created, this ilium has shifted them in, and this sacrum has also rotated off to this left-hand side. But that's why we've got you on this table to take care of that first, okay? Okay. You're gonna feel this table popping around on you. And I promise you that's the, the table making these noises, not you, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> deeper in person, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> now these lumbar good smart at first, but that's just because they've been out for a while and need to get adjusted, okay? okay. Good. All you gotta do is breathe and relax. Good. Last one here, Miss Oh yeah, I know you felt that one. <laughs> <laughs> you check those legs again, okay? We're evened up now. You see that, Troy? Bring him into extension. Right goes just a short touch on me. How does that feel for the low back compared to that first one? It doesn't even hurt now. Awesome. <laughs> so I take a nice deep breath in through that nose. All the way out. Oh, yeah. Another big one here. Nice deep breath in. Pressure okay there? Yeah. Good. I'm actually gonna switch sides on this one. Get a nice deep breath in for me. Let those shoulders go. Oh yeah. 
Moved a brick house on that one. <laughs> that was a thud. A little bit different technique here, so I'm going to contact on this side. I'm going to stretch off this side here. There we go. I know you felt that one too, mm -hmm. huh? Should feel pretty good. Alright, for your neck pop it up next on this one, okay? Okay. So another thing I showed you when we looked at your posture was that forward head posture also. This is what's going to help that, okay? Okay. <laughs> Good. Go face up for me now, please, man. <laughs> I'm just my hair up. Okay. Not bother me a bit. So I just laid it. Like yes, ma'am. Go face up for me, right in that same position. Then I'll get you to scoop towards me about half an inch, just to get those shoulders off that headpiece. Okay. So same thing here. I'm gonna work on getting that head back up over your shoulders. Okay. So I'm gonna contact on either side of your cheek. Out to the side like a big old T. We'll loosen this up just a bit. We got a big old Houston police officer on here last visit. Mm -hmm. I need that some attention. Work on these shoulders first. Not clavicles, okay. Relax those hands right on your belly for me. And I'm going to let this leg go like a limp rag. Keep those teeth together for me. Oh, yeah. oh I felt that. <laughs> Did you feel that from your knee all the way up into your low yes, back? Yes, and my hip. It felt good. so good. This is one of my favorite ones when I played football. I come in from taking all that compressive stress on the football field from pounding my legs the entire game. And then I come in here and Dr. Johnson would pull my leg. So good. And then he'd adjust me. <laughs> Face me now. Okay. So slide around this way. Good. Face Troy. Good. I'm gonna work on these shoulders one more time, okay? Okay. Go through a little bit of range of motion here. Good. Nice. And you're being all cooperative this morning for me. It's easy. <laughs> Making my job easy. I'm nervous. Nice. I'm here now upstairs. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you look up at the ceiling for me? <sighs> Come on. Five for five. There it was. <laughs> I'm a stats guy. I got to hit all my... <laughs> Look up at the yeah. That's just a distraction for you. Mm -hmm. I was already moving. You feel that? You should put it in the right position. It just wants to go back. Yeah. Good. Good. Nice. That felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to crack my fingers first. Well, we just feet. tractioned out all those fingers. Now we're going to traction out your entire spine, okay? So I want you to put butt here, head up this way. She's seen videos of this. Yes. Troy, you got a front row seat right here if you want to stand. I'm nervous. The crack addicts on the YouTube video would kill for that seat oh, right oh, there. Oh, oh, it's going to be in the way. No, come on back. It's the number one seat in the house right there. All right, so all I need you to do, Miss Angela, is just relax and let this table bring those legs up. So I will tell you also, this is how we recommend our patients start sleeping also. Because again, you saw your head far forward and all the translation and rotation. A lot of that's probably coming from how you sleep every day. Because if you think about it, if you're in that position for six to eight hours, your body is adapting and remembering that position, right. whatever it is, for that amount of time. Sleep so, like this? So, yes. Leg, legs all the way up, parallel 90 degrees. What I do at home is I take like a laundry basket, flip it upside down, and just put a pillow on top. That's what I put my I've legs on. I've had that wedge pillow, those wedge pillows from my surgery, and I slept as long really as it's, good with it. As long as it's getting your legs up parallel to the floor like this, because what that does is it tilts that pelvis and flattens the entire lumbar spine and then relaxes those paraspinal muscles all the way up to your occiput. Can you sleep like that? Mm -hmm. there, don't get me wrong, there's still mornings when I wake up 
and I'm on my side or something like that, or my laundry basket's kicked off to the side. I'm not perfect by any means. Right. But again, it's making those changes. Let me get you to scoot towards me just a little bit before I pin these. Pin, pin your pelvis up. I want you to lay flat for me. I don't want you to rotate my spine. Yeah, then just a little bit more towards me because I want that hip bone underneath that. Hip. Okay. There you go, right there. Because this is me creating a stabilization point here. So we're pinning in your sacrum and your pelvis. And I'm going to traction your entire spine from your suboccipital region all the way down. So you can relax your hands right here on your tummy. Pick your head up for just a second, get this hair out of there. Good. You can relax. Bring those legs all the way up to the head. A little taller, taller than the average bear. I go a little higher. Mm. <laughs> so a couple key points on this one I want you to do is just keep those teeth together for me, okay? I don't want you to clinch them. Just touch them so that tongue doesn't get between there. Just take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Move your left big toe for me. Mm. Good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Still wasn't so bad. You were all nervous for nothing, huh? I was. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Yo, how, far yeah. Down, how far down did you feel that one? All the way down to my butt. Good. My tailbone. See, didn't hurt me a bit, huh? <laughs> I felt, I literally felt it all the way down to my tailbone. That's what you're in here for, right? Right. You, no, you're good. You think the new guy was gonna take it easy on you? <laughs> <laughs> you could just relax right here. Still got one more adjustment to do, on, or two more. So we gotta stand you up and do the Arthur step. That's tight right up there on that side. So I'm gonna be tilted to the right with me a little bit. And look left. Good. Same thing here. Tilt left. Oh. And, uh, and that is a Johnson Biophysics adjustment. <laughs> wow. A little different than the last guy practice you went you to, huh? Do it. Yes, so, a lot different. So Miss Angela is the guinea pig here for the two of them. She wanted, Troy wanted to make sure her head was still attached at the end of this. <laughs> so we're gonna check that posture one more time. Let me stand right up here with me. Good, we're gonna face this mirror. Now I want you to close those eyes again, because again, I wanna take that visual stimulation out of it. So I want you to bend your head all the way forward and all the way backwards. Got more, look at that range of motion already. Did you mm -hmm. see? A while ago, you couldn't hardly go into that extension position right. right here, almost looking at the wall behind you. No. <laughs> now look at neutral. See how much we got that head back up over those shoulders? Yes. We evened up that spacing here. We're not so far off to that left hand side. And my shoulders are Your even. Your shoulders are not level. You're not forward and off to that right hand side. So we just show you those things so you can see what it looks like before and after the adjustment because we think that the objective results also speak for the subjective feelings because right now you should feel a little bit lighter, feel a little I looser. Do. I do. <laughs> How would you uh, describe this compared to the side posture adjustment or any of the other treatment that you I had for this? I couldn't walk after I left there. I mean, it was hard to even stand up straight and get home. Uh, we had plans that night, and I had to call him and say, "Look, we can't. I can't do anything. I'm going to get in the bed. I can't walk." Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is. I awesome. feel great. Awesome. I do. I Thank feel you great. so Thank, much for letting you. me work on you today. I got one more adjustment yet. We're okay. Not done. You know, the crack addicts thought I was probably about to wrap things up, but so this gun again here. I gonna, saw that in the video. I'm gonna so. bend your head forward a little bit. This again will relax all these curved spinal muscles. That feels good. This is also deeper in person too, huh? Mm hmm I know on video it doesn't look like I'm doing much with this little gun, but right. Good. And then this is that homework. Oh, that is awesome. So I'll wash me right here in the mirror. Okay. Shoulders up. All the way back as far as we can get them. Good. Okay. See now, notice how the chin goes forward. Mm -hmm. You want to do the exact opposite and come straight back. So hold these up for me all the way back. Good. That chin's going to come straight back to the wall behind you. So this way. And now extend as far back as we can. Good. Just hold right there for a second. Hold right here. Good. Now relax. Now do that same thing where you just bring that head forwards and backwards. Should feel even easier this time. Oh, yeah. Even more range of motion. I have zero pain in my neck now, and I, ha I, I have zero pain. Isn't it wonderful? Yes, I can't believe it. So again, Miss Angela was dealing with a lot of the same issues that I had that brought me into this office and really got me into this profession because it was this one single adjustment, the ring dinger, that made me decide that this is exactly what I want to do with the rest of my life and provide that same treatment to patients like yourself. I'm, so, I'm glad I came. Yes, I'm anyway. glad I didn't thank back Thank you very out. much. I'll take a hug from you, too, yes. if you don't mind. Absolutely. Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Anything else you want to share with the crack addicts out there? 
you need to make an appointment if you're having any type of back pain neck pain hip pain i'm telling you i've been dealing with it for five years and i feel awesome i appreciate that great. very very much i really do yeah. if you guys want to make an appointment just look right up here in this little corner and i'll put another little eye up there you can't see it yeah you can't see it right now in the video you'll be able to see what i'm talking about later so if you guys want to schedule an appointment we're now open monday through friday also so if you guys ever want to come in on thursday or friday anything like that We'll be here to take care of your needs, okay? Awesome. All right. Well, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Tristan Wood, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Miss Angela, and we'll see y'all soon.